In business, one of the number one conundrums that a lot of entrepreneurs run into is this notion of providing high quality customer service. Now you may think that that's a pretty self-explanatory thing, that you should want to provide your customers with the highest quality of service all the time. But with someone like me, who's a business strategist uh, and business coach, I found that to be very, very problematic because not every client wants to be treated and or work with the same and nor does every client deserve to be treated and or worked with the same. See, there, there was an age old adage um, called the golden rule that I believe most people were, were taught or were at least introduced to uh, as a child when they were growing up. And if you don't, and if, if you're not familiar with that, let me refresh your memory. Um, essentially the golden rule goes something like this is that you should treat everybody the way you want to be treated. <laughs> and like I said, as I've grown and matured as an adult and as an entrepreneur who deals with new and different types of people on a daily basis, I've come to learn very, very quickly and very, very harshly that you cannot treat everybody the way you want to be treated. Because first and foremost, it's like, Everybody is different. Everybody has different standards of way they want to be treated and everybody views themselves in a different light. And it's really, really interesting when you try to treat somebody or give them very, very high quality customer service when they don't expect it, but more so when they don't even want it. Like it's like, it's absolutely mind blowing. Like. In the beginning of my journey, like I tried to handhold everybody who I worked with. I tried to, you know, give them the white glove treatment, I know, spoon feed them, <laughs> baby feed them, you know, constantly give them reminders, constantly try to make sure that I was pushing them forward. And that really, really, really just drained me out. And I was just sitting back. I'm like, you know, scratching my head. I was like, how in the hell can this happen? Like, how can people reject my super, super high quality customer service and kind of discard it like it's like it's nothing special? And, you know, that's when I kind of had an epiphany that, you know, some people just don't value themselves, nor do they value the way their time, energy and money is spent. Like, it's just crazy that people would invest in help. And when it's presented to them, they, they kind of just ignore it. And that kind of led me to go down this rabbit hole and really talk to other people in my industry, you know, talk to people more experienced than me. And this is kind of like when I serendipitously ran across this concept of the quote unquote platinum rule. And I'm not sure if you've heard of this as well, but the platinum rule goes like this. It's that you should treat people the way they want to be treated. And that's kind of crazy because like it's the complete antithesis of the golden rule because the golden rule says treat everybody how you want to be treated. But when I'm thinking about the platinum rule and the big difference is that you treat people the way they want to be treated, it makes so much more sense. Because when you're treating people the way you want to be treated, you're just thinking about self. You're thinking about your own interests, your own preferences, and your own likings. And at the end of the day, like you cannot impose that onto other people. And so you may think like, wow, this guy is going in a, in a rabbit hole. He's going in circles. Well, the, the, this concept uh, can be beautifully illustrated, you know, in business. Like you have certain companies, like for example, let's, let's say Rolls Royce, they operate at that platinum rule. Like they, they, they present themselves to their customers and the people who want to be treated at that VIP Rolls Royce level will get treated like that because they're the ones who um, even have the fortitude to even involve themselves with somebody like Rolls Royce. 
where somebody who might not want to be treated like that or even experience that type of customer service may go to like a used car lot and just deal with whoever they got to deal with because that's the way that they want to be treated at that moment in time. And like I said, that might sound far-fetched. It might not make any sense, but going to back to me as a, as a business strategist, a business coach, and the way I work with my clients is like, I only put in what these people give me. If my clients show up filled up and are super, super on top of it, and they're, and they're bought into the ideology, the methodology, the putting in that work, I'm going to put in that work too. I'm going to give them the best and highest quality experience as possible. Whereas if, if a client or a prospective client um, is not showing up filled up, if they're half-assing, if they're not putting in that work, then, you know, I'm going to step back and let them, you know, go down the path that they chose. And like I said, initially, I wouldn't have done that. I would have just tried to handhold them and drag them through the process. But it's not like that. You can't sell people who don't want to be sold and you can't help people who do not want to be helped. So at the end of the day, when it comes to your customer service and how you, um, you know, take care of the, the people who you work with, you know, treat them the way they want to be treated. It's going to make everything that much easier, that's much simpler, and you won't be wasting so much of your time and energy when you don't have to, because there's no point in trying to, like I said, sell people who don't want to be sold or help people who don't want to be helped. Super curious to hear your thoughts. Um, like I said, this is a very controversial topic, but I really think it's important for people who are particularly starting off in their entrepreneurial journeys, not to break their back and overwork themselves and try to help people who don't really deserve and or, and or want what they're presenting out. So um, like I said, I'm curious, let me know your thoughts. And my question for you today is, um, would you rather want to be treated the way you want to be treated? Or would you rather uh, want to be treated how you, you know kind of deserve to be treated like that's that, that that's the question i was thinking about or no here's the question it's should people be treated the way they want to be treated or how um you want them to be treated that's the that, that's the conundrum it's it's a it's a tongue twister so basically what's more important the golden rule or the platinum rule let me know and um if you want to become the entrepreneur of, of your life Please be sure to subscribe to this channel and also be sure to click the notification bell to be alerted for whenever new content is dropped. Until next time.